everyone so today's recipe is going to be coconut cake also known as jamaican total simple easy recipe but oh my goodness absolutely delicious so here i have two beautiful coconuts can't have a coconut cake without the main ingredients i'm gonna crack this open and when choosing fresh coconuts make sure they have water in them more than likely they would be good and try not to waste the coconut water nothing is more refreshing now i'm going to remove the coconut from its shell i'm going to give this a nice wash and here is where you're going to grate or you're going to blend i went ahead and cut into small pieces blend creating some rich coconut milk I'm going to squeeze this coconut milk into a container see how rich that is yes and for the coconut flakes or the coconut trash that goes into a separate bowl both are going to be used to make this delicious coconut cake and this jamaican total is something that would whip up quick and fast normally on a sunday evening using the leftover coconut trash from the coconut milk that is used to make rice and peas so now that we have this rich coconut milk and this coconut flakes, I'm going to use just about three cups of the coconut milk. And to this, I'm going to add some sugar, some vanilla essence, rose and almond water, some melted butter or some vegetable margarine, which would be perfect for a vegetarian. I'm going to mix until everything is nicely dissolved. And also to this, which is very optional, in with some of my homemade virgin coconut oil. A link on how I make my coconut oil will be listed down below in the description box. So now that the wet ingredients are done, it's time for the dry ingredients. So to this coconut flakes in with some flour, a full breakdown of each ingredient will be listed down below. Also to this, I'm going to add some baking powder baking soda a bit of salt and for spices i'm gonna add some cinnamon powder i'm also gonna add some freshly grated nutmeg yes and that's about two teaspoon this total is going to be really flavorful and delicious also to this i'm going to add some mixed spice and people would ask what is mixed spice but it's a grounded combination of ginger maize all spice cloves cinnamon powder nutmeg it's the whole 10 yards but if you don't have that mixed spice you could just add a little extra cinnamon powder and nutmeg and that would work perfect last but not least i'm just gonna add a bit of grated ginger or some ginger powder so now that the dry ingredients are done smelling really good i'm going to mix incorporating everything then i'm going to add the wet and the dry ingredients together by 13 rectangular pan which is nice degrees i'm going to pour the butter in typically a total is done in a rectangular pan but a loaf pan or a round cake pan would work just as good and to a preheated oven i'm going to allow this to bake at 350 degrees for about one hour exactly one hour later and this coconut cake is done smelling absolutely delicious i'm just going to glaze using some melted butter to give it that beautiful sheen which also helps to keep it nice and moist and you want this to sit and cool on for at least 20 minutes before cutting into it but as usual i really i really could not wait this was super moist back in the days you'd be given a slice of this with a cup of tea and sent off to school nothing was more delicious no egg was needed the texture was perfect it was fluffy the coconut flake stands right out not to mention absolutely absolutely delicious nostalgic memories i had about three slices with a hot cup 
of minty oh my goodness this was just amazing a full written recipe will be listed down below in the description box i just want to thank you so very much for watching